Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you all how I do my everyday makeup routine and this involves some neutral shadows, some nice plump lips, and nice sculpted eyebrows. So I begin by starting off by wetting my beauty blender sponge and using my cover fix and my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation and the cover fix drops do a great job with concealing any hyperpigmentation and if you have acne scars this covers well and I'm just squirting a few pumps of each foundations onto my beauty blender and it is great to get your beauty blender wet before this procedure because you want a nice smooth application so I'm just dabbing this and just dabbing motions just around my face with the beauty blender spon sp bleh, sponge you will see that I go under my eyes and then I use the other tip of the beauty blender to kind of get in the creases and the crevices and whatnot so I will just be doing that Okay, so the next thing I will be doing is taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in the shades light to medium and I will be choosing the darkest bronzing color from my palette and I will be using my Sigma F40 brush and I will be using that as my contour brush and I will be contouring this bronzer into my cheekbones, on my temples, and on my jawbone just to give a nice defined look and sculpted look because I have pretty chubby cheeks so when I do this my face looks slimmer and it also looks more defined. Blending down the neck is also necessary as well when you want to get a darker look. Another great alternative bronzer is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in the shade Bally Brown. I recommend this strongly. Okay so now taking my Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlighter in the shade Heavy Highlight I will just be applying this on my cheekbones above my bronzer and on down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow as well just to give a nice glow. Using my ring finger now, I'll be using this in tapping motions just to blend in my highlighter and this will be great just to blend in all the product but don't blend it in too harshly or else you won't have any product there so kind of do it in light tapping motions just to give that even look. Now going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate, I'll be using this to sculpt my eyebrows. The brush I use that is key to performing to get perfect eyebrows is my Morphe M165 brush and this brush works perfect for a smooth application and making sure that the brows stay sculpted and whatnot and I'm just applying this on the arch and as you can tell my eyebrows are already filled in just a tad because this pomade stuff it kind of stains your eyebrows when you get when you do them the first time so it does give you darker eyebrows as well when you don't have the product on so I highly recommend this and the brush is great. Now going in with my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white I will be using this on my brow bone underneath my eyebrow just to accentuate and emphasize my eyebrows and to give a nice emphasized look because this literally when you put this it acts as concealer underneath your eyes and it blends it helps blend out any imperfections and make your eyebrows more sculpted looking and more sharp and I recommend this product for anyone or even concealer because this is great to getting the perfect eyebrows. Now going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Sin, I will be using this on my ring finger and my pointer finger just to apply this all over the lid just to give a nice base and ensure that my eyeshadow does not crease throughout the night or whatever I'm doing that day. Okay, so now going in with my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. For the lid shade, I will be using the shade Silk Teddy, and this color is perfect for the lids because it's not only a nice neutral shimmery color, but when you put a dark color in the crease, it really helps the crease emphasize and it'll give you a nice like glow, especially with a tan. Now using my Urban Decay Flat Shader Brush, I will be applying the color Silk Teddy all over the lid with this brush. 
Now I'm gonna go in with my crease brush and I'm gonna blend the colors Honey Pot, Push Up, and Chocolate Martini with my crease brush and I will just be applying that in the crease with my brush and you, as you can tell I'm using my blending brush just to blend out any harsh lines and whatnot from the dark shade. Now going in with my Lorac Pro Palette, I'm just going to choose the shade white and apply this all over to my brow bone for a nice highlight and this will just accentuate the look a little more. And by the way, I'm using Sigma brushes and Morphe brushes for all this. So you can purchase this off of Sigma or MorpheBrush.com. As you can tell, I'm doing my second eye, but I'm just repeating all the same steps I did on the first eye to my second. So for eyeliner, I don't really wear eyeliner on an everyday basis with my eyelashes, but when I do, I use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, and when I do wear mascara, when I don't have lashes on, I wear my Lorac Multi Plex 3D Lashes, and it works pretty well. Taking my Sun Bum Chapstick in the flavor Coconut, I will be applying that all over my lips just to provide moisture for when I do apply my lip gloss. Since we didn't do a heavy eye look, I will be using my Buxom Lip Plumper in the shade Danny. And this lip gloss just helps to plump your lips and make them have that more pouty look. And this is great because even if you don't want to wear a heavy lipstick, you can just put this on and it blends in with the natural color of your lips, but just makes them more plump and it gives them a nice gloss and shine. Okay, so this is the finished look, and it doesn't, the lighting doesn't do justice, so you can't see as well, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!